Governor Asa Hutchinson announcing today five more presumptive positive COVID-19 cases in the state of Arkansas. So that brings the total now to six. Yeah, health officials also offered advice and updates in hopes of stopping the spread. Our Alexis Wainwright has been following the latest on this and joins us live with more. Alexis. Well, Donna and Kevin, Governor Hutchinson hit a lot of key things that the state needs to do in order to stop the spread of COVID-19. Now that we're seeing more cases, he says this isn't a surprise, but now it's time to take extra steps. This is a public health emergency that I've declared in the state of Arkansas. New measures being taken in a natural state after five more presumptive positive cases of COVID-19 were announced by Governor Asa Hutchinson during a press conference Thursday. This brings the total to six presumptive positive cases in Arkansas. But it also is a signal that we have to take additional steps and action. The latest cases are out of Pulaski, Jefferson, Saline, and Grant counties. But health officials are not calling this a community spread and now Governor Hutchinson offering advice. We go ahead and advise that the schools in those four county areas should be closed for the next two weeks. One of the cases is a med student working in Jefferson County Hospital who later rotated to Arkansas Children's Hospital in Little Rock. For these uh, new uh, positive, presumptive positive uh, cases uh, were contacts with the patient that we, uh, um, we talked about yesterday. The other case announced on Wednesday, health officials believe is from out of state travel. Health officials also telling folks if you see COVID-19 symptoms, don't go to an ER room or a crowded clinic. You can get health care on your mobile device. If you go to UAMS Health Now on your iPhone, your tablet, your laptop, uh, you will have the chance to interact visually face-to-face uh, -face with a UAMS healthcare provider 24 hours a day. As of now, these positive tests have not been confirmed yet by the CDC. Health officials say none of those current ones are considered serious. Back to you guys. All right.